Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, 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 and his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. Truly, we're excited about the Lord. We're excited about being in Sunday school via the gospel truth. Apostolic Ministry in Gary, Indiana. I'm your host this morning, co-founder, pastor, Dr. Valerie D. Clark saying, it's a good day when you can arise and awake out of sleep and say, Lord, I just want to thank you because you have been mighty, mighty good unto me. Well, welcome to Sunday School. Everybody, everybody, everywhere ought to go to Sunday School. We want you to like and share. I'll partake of that even right now as you will. Hallelujah. Come on in the house of prayer today because we are in Sunday School. Everybody, 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 everywhere ought to go to Sunday School. Hallelujah. We're grateful today. Because having therefore obtained help from God, we continue unto this day witnessing to those both great and small. We're excited because God has truly blessed us. He's been good to us, and we are grateful. We're grateful this morning, hallelujah, that the God of glory have saw fit, Sister Lachey. God bless you. Good morning. To smile upon us, awake us out of sleep one more time it's a good day it's a good day yes it is yes it is and we're in sunday school this morning well as you like and share and come on in the house of prayer we're going to get ready hallelujah to go before the lord hallelujah as he continues to show us great and marvelous things hallelujah whereof we can continue to study his word and to be more like him in these last days. Let the church shout hallelujah. So let us know, hallelujah, how the Lord has blessed you, amen. If he's been good to you all week long, give me a thumbs up, hallelujah, saying God has been good to me, hallelujah. And I, I know he's been good to you, hallelujah. I already know that, hallelujah. But just in case, of, Demetrius, just in case, come on, tell me the truth. Has God been good to you, Evangelist Georgia, all the way to California? What, what about you, Elder Abram, in uh, Florida? Has God been good to you, even in the midst of all of these turbulent weather patterns, whether it's too hot, too much water, and it's flooding, hallelujah, too windy, and it's cold, whatever. God have yet been good to us through the storms, the rains, the hurricanes, the floods. Hallelujah. God has been good to us. And we ought to stop by and tell him, thank you. Hi glory for what the Lord have done for us. Well, we we're in Sunday school this morning. As you like and share, I thank you so much for all that you have done. I thank you even, hallelujah, for all of the continuous uh love gifts coming in for our 20th church anniversary hallelujah that we experienced a couple of weeks ago i want you to know that i appreciate everything that you do it encourages our heart it inspires us to continue to go forth higher higher deeper deeper in the lord and we appreciate you and we thank you because we know sister frazier if it had not been for the lord <laughs> that was on our side, where, where would we be? Hallelujah. But we're grateful this morning that the God of glory is on our side and he's smiling, hallelujah, upon us. Well, as we go forward today, we know that many are hurting, hallelujah. Many are sick and afflicted, hallelujah. Many are shut in and many are bruised and bound, hallelujah. And many are grieving, and we just want to stop and give prayer, hallelujah, to those, hallelujah, that are in need of God's attention. Let us pray together. Will you pray with me? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for being our soon-coming king. We thank you, Lord, 
for being our divine deliverer. We thank you, Lord, because you've been so good to us down through the years. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, that you have not left yourself without a witness. And we thank you, Lord, that we are one of the ones, hallelujah, that have been placed on this earth, hallelujah, to be a remnant for you, to be a witness, hallelujah, in this land for you. We're excited. We're excited for Sunday school, and we pray that everyone on this live, those will be tuning in later, hallelujah, that you bless them, give them their desires, the heart's desires, as they continue to walk up right before you. And Father, we pray for those that are grieving this morning. We pray a special prayer this morning for the Tidwell family, amen. We pray, oh God, that you continue to comfort their hearts and all the hearts of those that are grieving recent losses hallelujah for we know that it's not an easy thing but with you christ jesus you said if we cast all of our cares upon you hallelujah that you careth for us you'll comfort us in those times of need and father we pray that you let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight for certainly you're my strength and you are my redeemer and i thank you lord in Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you, brother Larry. We're excited this morning as we are ready to go to work in Sunday school. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says for us, Zion, to occupy until he comes. So that's what we must do. We must keep on working, working, doing the work of the ministry, evangelist, teacher. Hallelujah. Do the work until the Lord comes. Let the church shout hallelujah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, we're in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. You have your Bibles this morning? Mm -hmm. You have your Bibles? I know you know we're in Sunday school. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and we're reading the closing of this chapter, verses 17 through 21 today. Hallelujah. Let's read that together. You have your Bibles. And it declares, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespass unto them, and hath committed us unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God, for he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Let the church shout amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and the doers thereof, hallelujah, of his word. Well, this morning we're going to use for a thought of this Sunday school lesson, God bless you, Sister Devetta, the ministry, or shall I say the spiritual ministry of reconciliation. Hallelujah. How many of you know, hallelujah, we need to be reconciled back to Christ? Hallelujah, because we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And any times two parties that are apart from one another, hallelujah, can come back together in peace, then that's the ministry of reconciliation. So it is upon us today to come back unto our Father God. Hallelujah, the creator of heaven and earth. Zion, I don't know about you, but I'm so glad. Mm. I'm so glad the Lord wooed me back into his camp. I'm so glad. Hallelujah. During these times that we're living in, 
Mm. I don't have to tell you about them because you watch the local news and read the newspaper or the internet just like I do. Treacherous days, treacherous times. Hallelujah. I declare we need the Lord. Hallelujah. We need the Lord now, Zion, like never before. You that are able to bodies to be in Sunday school, you need to be in Sunday school. Not only you, but you need to make sure that your children are in Sunday school. Because any time, hallelujah, I believe it was a four-year-old can stab his little brother or two-year-old to death. What, what, what kind of nation, what kind of society are we living in, Zion? We need the Lord. Hallelujah. It's just not grown folks, hallelujah, that are unhinged. Hallelujah. But it's a devil Hallelujah, that's getting into our children because of what we're allowing them to listen to. Evangelist Stone, all of this demonic rapping and poo poo, and uh, yeah, no, hallelujah, and they don't even know they ABCs. And you, oh yeah, I, I might as well since I'm on the soapbox. <laughs> Go on, hallelujah. And you think it's cute, it's not cute. Hallelujah, because each one of us, we have a soul. And that soul is going to spend eternity somewhere, Sister Webb. God bless you. I said a star in my crown. God bless you, precious one. Hallelujah. As youngsters, hallelujah, we were little missionaries witnessing to those in the neighborhood. Hallelujah. And that's why, hallelujah, Sister Patricia Webb is so special to me today. Hallelujah. Because of that ministry, she's sustained in the gospel today. Hallelujah. And that's what we ought to be doing, lining our little children up to go to Sunday school, rather than to have them at home on a tablet, hallelujah, playing a game on Sunday morning. That devil is a liar. And somebody need to tell somebody on this line to wake up. Wake up. The devil is snatching our children. Hallelujah. Because we're not on our post. Mm. Y'all got me stirred up this morning and we ain't even. Oh my God. Did I tell you the title of the Sunday school lesson? Hallelujah. Yes. The spirit. Spiritual ministry of reconciliation. It's time for us to bring our loved ones back to the house of the Lord while you have a chance. Because we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring for us. We don't know if we're going to have a chance to gather together. Hallelujah. And while some of you are sitting at home on your laurels, Hallelujah, because you think, hallelujah, you got it all together. I'm here to tell you today on this live, hallelujah, that you better work while it's day. Because when night can come, mm, my God from Zion, no man can work. Well, I, I think we better go into the lesson. I know, I know, I know, I know, hallelujah. But I got to tell it to you because it's on my heart. Hallelujah. It's just so many shenanigans going on here, there. Hallelujah. And some of us mm, that say we're of the household of faith, we're just going on business as usual. No, it's not business as usual. These are tumultuous times. These are times now when we that are of the household of faith ought to be grabbing our nieces, nephews, cousins, Everybody we can telling them you better come and get your soul right with God because time is wrapping up. Hallelujah. Or shall I say it's just about wrapped up. Hallelujah. The end times. Hallelujah. They are here. And regardless of what people say. Hallelujah. Well, he may not come today. He may not come tomorrow. Hallelujah. No, he may not. But keep in mind, he may come for you today or tomorrow. So it's the end time for you. Hallelujah. Do you have your life in order? This, 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 Hosea, it's time for us to get it right. I know, hallelujah, it's tight, but it's right. It's time for us to get our lives right with God. Hallelujah. And it just behooves us. 
while the blood, I used to hear the old folks say in my day, hallelujah, is running warm in our vein that we would adhere to the word of God. Hallelujah, you want to believe everything else somebody on the internet has wrote, but you don't want to believe the book, the B-I-B-L-E. Hallelujah, you're deceived, you're twisted, and you need, hallelujah, to come to God for that devil who you think is in love with you, who just want to just snatch you, hallelujah, and send you to the pit to where he know he's going, hallelujah, you better wake up. Come on, Zion, I need for somebody to tell somebody to wake up this morning, because somebody sleep, hallelujah, some parents are asleep on their posts. And these little children are going to hell in a handbasket. Hallelujah. Wake up. Do your part. And when you've done your part and they still want to run after, hallelujah, that which is wicked, that which is unrighteous, you can say of a surety, I did all I could do. Hallelujah. Well, let's read the lesson. We've read the lesson. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, I'm stirred up this morning. It's just too much. And just think, what you saw on the news yesterday is going to be worse today. What you saw on the news today is going to be worse tomorrow. It's going to escalate, the Bible says, as a woman that's in travail. And those of you that have had children, you know those pains. They don't stop. They keep coming. More severe, more severe, more severe. See, so today... Hallelujah. It might have been the children in Georgia or Argentina, but who's to say next week it's not going to be the children in California, Florida, Indiana, Illinois? Huh? You better wake up. You better wake up. Thank you, Evangelist Anderson. Somebody need to tell them to wake up. Evangelist Pierce, somebody need to tell these folk to wake up. Hallelujah. Some of you sleep with your eyes open. And you know that looks some kind of way. Well, let's go on into the lesson. I know you want some scripture. Hallelujah. Ooh, Lord, help me today. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. We need to wake up. The spiritual ministry of reconciliation. God only wants to love you and save you from a burning hell. That's all. Because as sure as you believe it's heaven and everybody going, which is not the truth. That's why the Bible says hell have enlarged her mouth because there's so many people that do not want to repent. So many people that do not want to acknowledge God in all thy ways. Hallelujah. And he'll direct their path when you acknowledge him. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. The Bible declares in verse seraphim, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Hmm? Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. I tell you these things, Zion, because I love you. I want you to go to heaven. I don't have a sugary m and &M message to teach you. I don't have it. You, you know, you got to go on further down the line on YouTube or, or Facebook for that. That's not here. I want to tell you the truth so that you can be delivered. Ha, ya, ya, glory, glory, glory. God mm, wants to regenerate you, a new creature in Christ Jesus. Apostle Paul here in this chapter, hallelujah, he's yet letting you know that there is a confident ministry of the future. This is the ministry of reconciliation. Come on, Zion. We got to come back to our roots. We got to come back to where our mothers taught us. Huh? God bless you, Bishop Tidwell. We're praying for you. Hallelujah. Our God is going to comfort you guys' hearts. Hallelujah. I know, hallelujah, it is not easy, but I know according to what my mother told me after losing four daughters, hallelujah, that God will sustain you. So you have our prayers this morning. Be safe and be blessed, and we'll be in contact with you for certain. Hallelujah, because we are family. Hallelujah. 
The Bible declares, hallelujah, regeneration, hallelujah. I want you to turn your Bibles. You yet got your Bibles, hallelujah. Let's turn our Bibles, because see, we need scripture. Because my opinion doesn't matter. Your opinion doesn't matter. It's what thus saith the Lord that matters, hallelujah. And the Bible says here, you have your Bibles? Hmm? You got your Bibles open? Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26. See, when you receive this new spirit, you're born again of the water and of the spirit. Because why? We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. We must be born again. And that's of the water and the spirit. Because we can't go back into our mother's womb a second time. Huh? The Bible says here in Ezekiel 36, verse 26. You got your Bibles? A new heart. Also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. That's what our God will do for you. See, he only wants to save you. Hallelujah. Whereas you or some of the children are running after, hallelujah, that demon from the pit of hell, hallelujah, because it looked like all of this and a bag of chips, mm. and it's only a pot of demonic lava. Hallelujah. You got to wake up. Don't be deceived. Hallelujah. This devil wants to deceive you. But you have to listen, hallelujah, to the true preachers and teachers of God's word. Hallelujah. God wants to give you a new spirit, his spirit, hallelujah, that's going to save you, that's going to bring you out of darkness into this marvelous light. Come on, Zion. Yo, that grew up in the church, you know what our parents taught us. Hallelujah. It's a highway to heaven. And none are walking up there but those that are right, those that are true. Huh? You're not going up to heaven doing everything you want to do, doing everything the heathen does. No, sir. Hallelujah. Don't get it twisted. This regeneration, this new spirit is of divine origin. It's of God. Hallelujah. He said in John chapter uh, 1, Verse 13, hmm? you yet in your Bibles? Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Come on, Zion, we got to tell the truth and we all be delivered. Hallelujah, I continue to tell you, it's not my opinion, because that don't mean zip nor yours, but it's what thus saith the Lord. It's his heaven. And if we want to go to his heaven, we've got to do like he said do. It's not Burger King. No, sorry. We're not having it that way. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. And if you want to go to heaven, it's necessary to salvation that you're born again of the water and the spirit. Hallelujah. The Bible is clear. Hmm? He says, according to the scripture, Titus chapter 3, verse 5, and we're going to move on. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. It's necessary to salvation. You must be born again. You gotta be born again. Born of the water, born of the spirit. It matters not who on the internet tell you, oh, you don't have to be born again. Hallelujah. Maybe because they have a little position or a little status. That devil is a liar. And you could tell them, send them this video and tell them Pastor Val said it. Hallelujah. You must be born again. The Bible says, Hallelujah, you must be born of the water and of the spirit. Hallelujah, the spirit 
of our God. That's the divine nature you need to navigate through this life. You can't make it without the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. No matter how wonderful you think you are, you need the Holy Ghost. That's a good place for you to help me online to type in, you need the Holy Ghost. Let the church shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, excuse me. Excuse me, hallelujah. We must be Zion, born again, hallelujah. Let's move on here, hallelujah. Ah, because we understand, hallelujah, that we have to be regenerated, huh? Born again, done over, hmm? That's what the spirit of reconciliation, the ministry of reconciliation is all about. You all knew what Adam and Eve did in the garden. They disobeyed God. Hallelujah. So that caused all of us to be born in sin. And we must be. You gotta be born again. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, my God. And this spiritual renewal, hallelujah, that we will experience Hallelujah, as we continue to follow after God, as we continue to seek God. Hallelujah, as we continue to do what thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, you know I'm the signature preacher, line upon line, precept upon precept. I got scripture for you today. Hallelujah. Got your Bible yet open? Hallelujah. Come on, turn with me to Psalm 51, verse 10. Hmm? Psalm 51, verse 10. Hallelujah. This is our beloved David, King David. Hallelujah. He knew he needed to be born again, have a clean heart. Huh? He said, hallelujah, create in me a clean heart. Oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Why? Because he had went out of the will of God and he had transgressed. Huh? He took another man's wife and then killed the man, Uriah. God said, I'm not going to have that. Hallelujah. But God, hallelujah, allowed him to come to repentance. Hallelujah. See, I'm telling you, Zion, see, I know some of you think, oh, well, uh, I'm going to plan to do this and that. And, you know, hey, I'll, I'll come back to it when I get ready. But honey, it's no guarantee you're going to find repentance. And we could ask Judah to stand up and testify if he could about that. Huh? He sought repentance but couldn't find none. Hallelujah. But what about you? Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is clear today, Zion. Hallelujah. David, after Nathan came to him, hallelujah, it was over a year later. He didn't repent right away. Oh, no, he didn't. Hallelujah. And David told him, said, you the man, you the one. Hallelujah. After he told him that little story, that parable, you the one. And David went in sackcloth and ashes, said, oh, Lord, forgive me. Created me a clean heart. Renew, Felicia, the right spirit within me. Because he knew he had done wrong. And you got to remember, I don't care how dark the room is. Hallelujah. God sees what you're doing. Whether you do it in the basement, under the shed, it don't matter. God sees darkness as daylight. And you and I must give an account to the deeds done in our bodies. The thoughts we even think. Hallelujah. Zion, we must get it right. It's on me this morning. Because there's too much shenanigans going on in our world today. And some of us that say... We are of the name of Jesus. Act like we yet sleep in our PJs. Wake up. Hallelujah. Souls are dying. And we need to make sure, hallelujah, that we have told them the unadulterated word of God, the truth. Not my opinion and your opinion, but the truth, what thus saith the Lord. Let the church out. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God, this new man that we're speaking of, huh? Come on, he wants to do a work in you. How many of you know we need a work done on us? Because some of us, we was out there, 
Hallelujah. We were bad as billy goats. We weren't good for nothing but the pit. But God saw fit to lift us up on higher ground. You ought to tell the Lord thank you today. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, the Bible says as you have your Bibles in Galatians 6.15, and we're moving on. Hallelujah. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. God wants to save you and make you a new creation, a new creature in him. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, we need to be saved today. You hear me? We need to be saved. Hallelujah. Because, hallelujah, God may not come for the church today. No, sir, he may not. He may not rapture us all up today, but he's coming soon. Hallelujah, I guarantee you that. Hallelujah, he may not come for you today. He may not come for me today. But what about if he come for Susie, Sally, Tom, Dick, and Harry? Have they made their calling and election? Sure, that's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. It's not important to me. Hallelujah. If he comes tonight or tomorrow night, the main thing is I want to be ready when he called my name. I want to be saying, yes, Lord, hallelujah. So glad you came by today because I'm ready. Let's, let's take this flight. Huh? We want to be ready when he call our name. If we have to go by the way of the grave, hallelujah. If we're yet here when he comes and caught up together with them and are alive and remain and we meet him forever in the clouds, it's amen, hallelujah. But the main thing is Zion, you want to make sure you're ready to meet the Lord in the air. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is clear, hallelujah. Mm. As he says, a new man, huh? He's going to make you the believer as a new man. Ah, my God, hallelujah. He says in Ephesians 2.15, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, come on Zion, so making peace. He want us all to get back together as one, the ministry of reconciliation. Huh? See, that's what the devil does. He tears things apart. Hallelujah. That's his mission. M.O. Kill, steal, and destroy. That's his mode of operation. That's what he does. That's all he good for. Hallelujah. You think, oh, he giving me that feeling, Zion, don't be tricked. Don't be bamboozled. Hallelujah. It's only for a moment. The Bible said the pleasure of sin is only for a season. Hallelujah. And you're going to pay. Payday is coming. I used to hear the old mothers of Zion stand up in testimony service and say payday is coming after a while. Hmm? And will you be paid? Hallelujah. For your good deeds. Or will you be paid because you were tricked, deceived, and bamboozled by the wicked one? You better make up in your mind today whom you're going to serve. For as me and my house, this, this temple, this body, we're going to serve the Lord. You have to make up in your mind. You can't go to heaven on your daddy's coattail and your mama's dress tail. You got to make that decision for yourself. That's why the Bible says, Abram, you got to save yourself from this untoward generation. This wicked, wicked generation. Huh? That's why you can't even leave your children unattended. You come back and the little six or four year old don't stab the two year old. What? Come on, Zion. We, we didn't hear that in my day. I know. No, 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 no. But this is a wicked generation. And it's time for us to start making tracks back to the house of God. Let the church shout hallelujah. Uh, we're moving on. Let's move on to verse 18. Mm. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given us the ministry of reconciliation. 
you know we find hallelujah amen as we uh delve into this uh word of god hallelujah even in um the word of god hallelujah ah uh, my god we do not know any man after the flesh not even christ it is vain for any man to profess a relationship with christ according to the flesh because we don't know him like that because he ain't here walking the earth like he was over two thousand years ago it's a new day hallelujah while he is unchanged in heart and life and dead and trespasses and sin we gotta know him after the spirit zion hallelujah let me share with you hallelujah there's two kinds of things hallelujah of things that will pass away hmm the spirit nature and power of sin the old man gonna pass away which is nothing more nor less than the spirit nature and power of the devil working in men of disobedience come on zion hallelujah hallelujah this is why the bible calls hallelujah the old man because that's to pass away be done away with you're gonna be born again huh of the water and of the spirit ah sin is gonna be done away with things you used to do you don't ain't doing them no more hallelujah you used to have a wife a husband a boyfriend and a girlfriend how no sir all that's foolishness that's shenanigans no sir it's a new day hallelujah the body of sin romans 6 6 i'm gonna move along quickly the power of satan acts 26 19 study the scriptures hallelujah the body of death romans 7 24 the lust of the flesh ephesians 2 3 the lust of the eyes first john 2 15 through 17 the pride of life, 1 John 2, 15 through 17. The works of the flesh, Galatians 5, 19. Hallelujah. Ah, oh my God. The world, 1 John 2, 15 through 17. You can study this in your private devotion. Ah, vile affections, huh? We talk about things, hallelujah, what the Bible called the old man done away with. Huh? Vile affections, Romans 1, 26. Ah, the carnal mind, Romans 8, 1 through 13. The God of this world, 2 Corinthians 4, 4. Spiritual weakness in high places, rulers of darkness, Ephesians 6, 12. Sin that dwells in me, it's got to be done away with, Romans 7, 17. The body of sins of the flesh. Colossians 2, 11. Galatians 5, 24. Romans 8. I know it's a whole lot. Hallelujah. But just want to give it to you so you could tag your cousin, your niece, and your auntie and grandpa and share with them this video so they'll know. You got to give it up. Hallelujah. You got to give up sin if you want to be with the king of kings and the lords of lords. Hallelujah. Because both outward and inward sin must pass away. That's the old man. You cannot claim to be in Christ. Hallelujah. And you yet practicing sin. Uh-uh. Hallelujah. You being deceived, tricked, and bamboozled. Hallelujah. You all in sin, witchcraft, demonic activity, and yet you say you in Christendom. That devil is a liar. He don't deceive you. Hallelujah. You are erroneous. Hallelujah. And in error. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is right. Mm. And somebody wrong. Hallelujah. Let me get you a scripture here that we can share quickly here. Hallelujah. My time is just, whew, it always seems like this rolls so fast. I don't know why, but it does. Mm. The Bible says, hallelujah, as God reconciles us with God through Christ Jesus, huh? He says in um, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 16, 
and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. God wants to save you, huh? Won't you let him come in today? He only wants to save you. It's time, Zion. Hallelujah. Because you got to remember, you're not going to be here forever. I don't care if you are. Hallelujah. 21, tall, dark, and handsome. Hallelujah. If you 19, 34, 24, 36, you're not going to be here forever. And you have to know that that devil, he's trying to cut off everybody he can at whatever path he can as soon as he can. And the question is, will you be ready? When the Lord comes, will you be ready? Huh? That's why I'm here. I'm concerned about your soul. That's why the Lord called me to the internet. Not for your entertainment. He called me here, hallelujah, to cry loud, spare not, lift up my voice like a trumpet, and sound the alarm. Because I'm a watchman on the wall. Hallelujah. He said a preacher or a teacher, hallelujah that would not call the alarm when he know danger is ahead they dumb dogs huh all they doing is telling you send me a thousand dollars for a prophecy that devil is a lie God ain't in it hallelujah I know it's tight but it's right let the church shout hallelujah we're gonna move on here Zion mm, mm, mm. God wants to save you he wants your character to be transformed huh he wants you to be reconciled back hallelujah to him and that's why he told us to go preach into the head just the highway and compel them come on that's why i'm here hallelujah trying to urge you your sister brother your cousin hallelujah come out from among them and be ye separate said the lord i know i know i know Okay, we're going to move on. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible is clear. Let's go on to tap verse 19 quickly. Hallelujah. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed us the word of reconciliation. Oneness with the Father. Come on, Zion. Huh? We're going to be one with him. Mm. The Bible is clear. Hallelujah. Uh, in this uh, verse of scriptures, to wit, hallelujah. Uh, that simply means, hallelujah, God was in Christ, reconciling, bringing back men to himself. Come on. We got to come on back. Hallelujah. That devil strayed us away, but we got to come back it's time to come on back god does not impute sin to those who have confessed and are reconciled to him see you got to make your calling and election sure hallelujah and if we sin we have an advocate with the father huh he'll forgive us hallelujah because we are yet in this flesh we're capable of sin but we don't practice sin hallelujah mm. Ah, the Bible is clear. Hallelujah. God has made the reconciled ambassadors for Christ to reconcile others. That's why you say not to sit in the church. Hallelujah. Just come get you some apple pie and some greens and cornbread and egg bones and go home. No, sir. But you're to tell somebody. He said after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, he'll make you witnesses to men. You got to tell somebody. Come on, somebody, help me teach this morning. Type on the comment line, go tell it. Huh? That song wasn't just writ, writ, uh, written for your entertainment. Go tell it on the mountain. No, sir, you need to be telling it on the mountain, not only at Christmas time. You need to be telling it all day long. Because now, like never before, it's an urgency for souls. Hallelujah urgency because people are leaving here and we ain't seen nothing yet hallelujah there's going to be much death and i know i don't have to speak it it's going to happen anyway because we're living in the last day the last of the last day hallelujah mm. 
Ah, the Bible is clear, hallelujah. As we continue, hallelujah, to know that Christ is for us and he ordained us to go and preach, hallelujah, the remission of sin. Huh? Why? Because he wants us. He wants us to be, hallelujah, his bride. We got to be getting ready, Zion. Hallelujah. It can be any time. Oh, yes, it can. Hallelujah. It may not be, hallelujah, any time for you and me, but it may be for our brother and sister. Hallelujah. So, therefore, we have to be ready. That's why he told us to be ready. Matthew 26, 28. You got your Bibles? We're yet in Sunday school. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. That's the reason why he hung on that cross for you and for me. He shared his blood. He was the sacrificial lamb for you and for me that we may be saved. And we got to tell somebody about it. Somebody told us and we got to tell somebody else. Don't just keep it for me and my four no more. No, sir. Tell somebody about this Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, Luke 3, 3. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sin. God wants you to be saved, born again according to Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's one of the unclaimed scriptures that we use. Hmm? We must be born again. Born of the water and born of the spirit. Don't get it twisted. Don't let anybody, I don't care what their title is, deceive you and bamboozle you. You must be born again. Your sins must be remitted. Oh, yes, they. Because we were born in sin. Hallelujah. And when you're baptized in his name, there's an operation that takes place in your conscious mind. Deep, deep. God removes all them sins as far as the east is from the west. Hallelujah. It's over. Come on, Zion. We got to get it right while we can. Hallelujah, you got one shot at this. And when death comes, it's too late. It's absolutely too late. Ah, the Bible is clear in Hebrews 9.22, and we're going to move on swiftly because our time is almost out. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without the shedding of blood is no remission. Told you, he hung on Calvary's cross, shed his blood. When they pierced him in the side, out came blood and water. That was for you and for me, giving us the opportunity to be saved. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad. I'm so glad my mother took us to Sunday school. I'm so glad, hallelujah, that we were taught about the oneness of Jesus Christ. Let the church shout hallelujah. Our time is fleeting, so we're going to move on. Let's see, that was verse uh, 19, let's move on to verse 20. Mm. We'll read both of them. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. Verse 21, for he made himself to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Jesus hung on that cross for you and for me. Huh? He was the substitute for us. He didn't have any sin. There was no guile found in his mouth, but he did it for you and for me. That's why, hallelujah, when we're trying and to get that breakthrough, we're like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It was him that hung on Calvary's cross. Hallelujah. 
Oh, my God, the Bible is clear. He was a substitution. Come on, we're going to get you a couple of scriptures, and we're going to let you go because our time is out. Mm. Hallelujah. The Bible declares in Galatians, hallelujah, 313, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for it is written, cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree. He hung on that cross for you and for me, Zion. Isaiah 53, 5 said it like this, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Today, hallelujah. Oh, yes, we're healed, Zion, because God did it for us. I don't know about you today. But my spirit, once again, is stirred up that we as people of God, hallelujah. Ah, Evangelist Sandra, I used to hear the old mother walk of Zion say, come on out the corner, you can't hide. Hi, this ain't wasn't done in no corner. Hallelujah. We got to tell it on the mountaintop. Hallelujah. Because what's done in the valley is going to be shouted on the mountain. Elder Mark LeBranch, we got to tell it everywhere we go. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He wants to reconcile you back to him today. Hallelujah. All you have to do is just believe this great gospel of Jesus Christ. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ according to the scriptures. And God. I declare he'll save you. If he did it for me, he'll do it for you. There's no secret what God can do. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. Let the church shout hallelujah. Ah, my God, he in fact was the sin bearer. Hallelujah. I mean, let you go with this, I believe. Mm. Oh, my God, it's so much I want to share with you. Hallelujah. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 28. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Will you be ready? He's coming back just like he said. I'm looking forward to it, whether it's today, next day, Next year, next 10 years, it don't mind. I'm looking for him, and we got to be ready. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, now there is a divine call. Hallelujah. God wants to save you. We're his messengers. We're his ambassadors for Christ. We're the ones that have the message. We're the sent ones, huh? Oh, my God, we got to tell it because we are the sent ones. We are God's true disciples. Hallelujah. Ah, oh my God. And this divine call of repentance. Huh? Repent every one of you. Turn from your wicked ways. Hallelujah. I know she may be cute and he may look handsome. Hallelujah. But if they're not born again, they got those wicked ways. Hallelujah. Ah, the Bible says, hallelujah, according to the scripture, we must repent. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, he said, Matthew 3, 2, Matthew chapter 3, verse 2, and saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Acts 3, 19, I'm moving swiftly because my time is out. Acts chapter 3, verse 19, repent ye therefore, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Acts 17 and 30 declares, and the times of ignorance. God winked at. See, this is what some of you are today. You think because God, hallelujah, ain't cut you down yet, you okay. And you know you've been sinning and cutting up. He said, but it was a time I winked at your sin. Ah, but listen to what he's saying now in Acts chapter 17, verse 30. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, 
but now commanders all men somebody type on the comment line lache all men everywhere to repent it don't matter what your status in life is hallelujah you need to repent presidents kings queens hallelujah ceo cfls hallelujah uh maintenance worker garbage man whatever you are preacher to everybody need to repent hallelujah oh my god let the church shout glory be to god mm. we need to repent zion it's just time hallelujah because hallelujah mm. Woo-wee. Hallelujah. The sin bearer, he's already come. Hallelujah. He died on that cross for you and for me. Hallelujah. Christ, who was sinless, became sin for you. Hallelujah. And for me. Isaiah 53, 9 says, And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence. Neither was any deceit in his mouth. He did it for you and he did it for me, Zion. Don't let it be in vain. I'm not going to let it be in vain. Don't let it be in vain because God only wants to save you. Let the church shout hallelujah. Verse uh, 1 Peter 2, 22. Who did no sin, neither was any guile found in his mouth. He did it for us, Zion, that we could be saved. Zion, my time is out. I'm going to let you go. I pray the wind of God take you to the destiny that he have ordained for your life as you continue to seek him in the beauty of holiness. Yes, my old bishop, hallelujah, used to say, is holiness or hell. Hallelujah. We serve a holy God, and he wants you to be holy. Hallelujah. You can't go to heaven doing what everybody else is doing that's ungodly and unholy. You got to set yourself apart and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And touch not the unclean thing. I love you. Till next time, may the peace of God take you. Hallelujah. Where you've never been before as you continue to acknowledge him in all of your ways. We're praying for you. Be safe. Be awoke. Stay alert. Watch and pray. Be alert and pray. I love you. Till next time, shalom, bye-bye.